Um, I said on Christmas night, um, Christmas Eve, that um, we were going to give Shana's case a rest or anything like that um, in Geneva. Well, well, I have kept my word on that, but some people just cannot keep their mouth shut and their fingers off their keyboards. And um, I am tired of it, tired of it. I realize that the sincere, good people of Geneva are not being this way. But there are some who just love to incite and instigate drama. And today I was accused repeatedly of starting a fraudulent um, crowdfunding campaign in the name of one of the deceased girls. And I was um, accused of it in a group, on somebody's page. I mean, it was just ridiculous when all that I did was share the post that somebody tagged me in. Hey, Gina. And then once I realized, I realized very quickly after that I posted it on the page that it was a fraud and a scam. I got on live immediately and told everybody to go report it and not to donate. So how that went from me being the one who did it is beyond me. These people, certain people, believe anything and everything that they see or hear. With now, without any proof of anything. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people lying. I'm tired of people spreading gossip about me that's not true. I haven't scammed anybody. I have not. I don't know where all these people are coming up with this. I'm such a scammer because I haven't scammed anybody. All that I've done is try to help these people find their child. That's it and help them have basic necessities. That's it. That is all that I have done. And if some people take offense to that and choose to believe rumors and gossip without even knowing who I am or even trying to get to know me, that's on them. But I'm not gonna stand by and continue to let people talk about me and talk trash about me when they don't know anything about what they're talking about. And that's just the truth. I'm sick of it. Now, after this happened today, there was a bunch more mess going on in one of the groups. And there are some other people in there running their mouths. Well, I don't know, Dolores. Why don't you tell me? Probably because all of these idiots from this other group. Suzanne, that's exactly what my aunt said earlier. My aunt said the exact same thing. All of these idiots from the Dix, from the, I can't talk, Gypsy Rose group have been following me, harassing me, stalking me for months. They can say they're not, but that's exactly what they've done and continue to do. That's exactly what they've done. They spread gossip. They spread lies. And try to turn everyone against me for whatever reason. Because they're all butt hurt over the gypsy group. Start your own group. Do your own lives. Do your own thing. Get a hobby, a job, something. It isn't cute. And it's so freaking old. You know, and I'm just to the point. Yes, over the summer, I was in a bad place. I was, I, I had, I was depressed when I first started my gypsy group, you know, and I said some things and did some things and I'm not necessarily proud of it, but I'm not, I don't regret it. I made fun of some people, 100%. I made fun of their makeup. I made fun of their facial hair. I made fun of lots of things. Am I proud of it? No, but I did it, so I'm gonna own up to it. Why deny it? 
And then one day I was just sitting there and I was like, y'all, this is ridiculous. This is so juvenile. We really have the opportunity to help somebody. We have the resources, we have the skills, we could really do good things with what we are doing. So we chose to leave the gypsy case behind and all of the idiots that came with it. And we forgot about them. And we started focusing on cases that had been forgotten. People who had been forgotten. And instead of staying on the computer, I actually went out into these communities where these cases have happened and I made real friends. People. Not people who hide behind a keyboard. And all of these people who follow me and do all this stuff, and y'all believe them? Do you think they haven't done the same things they accuse me of or worse? Oh, they have. And I have screenshots to prove it. I could make a million groups out of every one of them talking trash about each other. All of the same people who have now joined up together. They're all, all of them need psychiatrists. They're a group of nuts. They think they're spreading the word about me, bringing me down. For what? What am I doing that is so bad? Helping people? Furniture? Helping to try to find missing people? I mean, give me a break. What am I doing that's so bad compared to what they are doing? Every day, every time that I think that they have hit the bottom of the barrel, they do something else that has just absolutely amazed me to the, at the lengths that they go to. On Christmas Eve, I was sent screenshots of one of these old hags who was in a group that had nothing to do with any cases that we've done, trying to recruit other people that know nothing about me to bring me down because I have scammed so many families and drained them of all their money. And nothing they've done has worked. So they need more help. Nothing you've done has worked because I haven't done anything wrong. Unlike every one of you, and I'm sure some of you are watching, and you're probably streaming me to one of your groups now. Unlike y'all, I've actually got out from behind my computer. I've actually traveled places. I've actually met people. I've actually made real friends, you know, Real people, not people that hide behind a screen. I've actually done something in the last six months other than stalk somebody that I've never met and follow them everywhere they go. Exactly, Lamar. I mean, you would think that I was some type of serial killer the way that these people harass and stalk me. It is disturbing to say the least. And they're oh so bothered about what I've done and what I'm doing and I'm such a horrible person. But then, Starla Cooper, I don't even know who you are. My store has been closed for almost three years. And you're just now worried about a dress? Seriously? Jesus, take the wheel. And I'm pretty sure that your profile picture is a man. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh my God. And that's the truth. There are way more people who support me than don't. Than don't. 
Gina, that's much easier said than done. Hey, Caitlin. Especially after today, when I was accused repeatedly, publicly, on social forums of making a fraudulent crowdfunding campaign to raise money for a deceased girl's funeral. Now that, I'm done. And I'm tired of being nice. I mean, Jesus take the wheel, y'all. In the last six months, you know, none of these people matter. I don't sit around and... Melissa, exactly. If she's waited three years to get her dress, that's on her. My store has been closed. It's just ridiculous. I mean, you know, since August, my team and I have been focused on these cases and trying to find missing people. And there has been so much negativity because these people from the Gypsy case have followed me and started it and incited all of these other people to do the same. And ignoring them doesn't work. Then they go to all different other methods. And they find weak-minded people who believe they're garbage and they join forces. But there are so many more who don't buy into their crap than there are that do. And I honestly think that is the problem. I think that's the problem. Because they are the minority. And the majority of people see that what I'm doing is good. And that I'm doing things for the right reasons. And I have nothing to hide. And it's like I said earlier today, I am not a perfect person. And I have never portrayed myself to be. I am perfectly imperfect. I do not apologize for my faults because I have plenty. Just like everybody watching does. There is not a perfect person on this earth. And none of these people who talk badly about me, who spread things about me all over the internet, who try to incite these other people, you know, to hate me for whatever reason, none of them are perfect. And they sure ain't Jesus, nor do they have the right to judge me. Because they're not me. And they have no idea about the stuff they talk about. They can say they do and that they want it, and that they know everything else, all they want to. But they don't know me. They don't know me now. They've never met me, most of them. They have no idea. But see, I have met people, and I've made good friends in Geneva, and in, in op with these cases. I've expanded my circle. I've made good friends. I've met great people who have seen the good that I'm doing and that I intend to continue to do. And nobody, nobody has the right to judge me for anything because they're not perfect either. None of them. And it's like I said earlier, somebody was saying that I shouldn't do this until later because of the funerals and because of this and all this different stuff. Um, I have been very respectful. My mods and the research team and I have paid our respects from afar to be respectful of the families. But when somebody brings my name in to something and accuses me of something that I had absolutely nothing to do with other than trying to help, then yes, I am going to address it. Oh, exactly, Tammy. I'm never going to quit being me.
I'm never going to quit doing exactly what I want to do. And I'm never, ever going to stop defending myself against things that are wrong. And this was wrong in so many ways. Y'all just stop in the comments. I don't know what's going on, but quit arguing. You know, and the thing about it is at the end of the day, if you're not doing something that's helping somebody instead of harming them, who are you? To say anything about what somebody else has done. Because if you are spending your days filled with hate and trying to destroy somebody or bring somebody down for some petty internet beef that only you are worried about, then what does that say about you as a person? Does it make you feel good to get on these groups on Facebook pages, wherever, chats, and talk bad about somebody, gang up with other people who are like you, and just talk about them nonstop? Does that make you feel good? Does it make you feel like a good person? Do you feel like you've done your good deed for the day? Whatever floats your boat. But I would much rather be helping somebody. Much rather. Because I'm going to tell you, the look on somebody's face when you do something for them with zero expectation of anything in return is the absolute best feeling in the world. To know that you have helped somebody with 100% pure intentions and they appreciate it, that is one of the best feelings that you will ever have. And so many of you who are watching right now need to practice it. Everybody says I've been saying so many negative things about Geneva. No, I haven't. And have I said that nobody's done anything for Shana's family? Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly, Chris. I've said that nobody in Geneva has done anything to help find Shana. How many times organize things? I, I know, Kayla. My aunt said the same thing earlier. How many, how many people in Geneva have led searches? Have contacted the family to see if there is anything that they could do to help them? How many? How many people have put up flyers over the years? How many people have checked in on the families to, just to see if they need anything or somebody to talk to? How many people from Geneva have tried to be their friend with zero expectation just to be a friend, a shoulder to cry on? That's it. Not to loan them money with interest for no reason other than just to be there for them. How many? How many people in Geneva, this great town that comes together for everybody, right? Trust me, I see that they're coming together for these three families where these children were killed, and that's a wonderful thing. But the fact remains that it didn't happen for Shana. How many of y'all were there the day that there was a search for Shana and saw her dad crying because hardly anybody showed up to help search? Instead, everybody went to a parade. And then I get asked and told about this case 
I talk to the parents and I decide that I'm going to take it on. And because I come on here and I do these discussions. Seriously? Then y'all have a problem with it now and I'm doing something so wrong because I'm drawing attention to the fact that none of you who have such big mouths and such busy fingers have ever done anything to help this family or to help find Shana. You're so upset because some of the people who I've announced and said are possible persons of interest that some of their families may be offended. You don't think my family and my friends are offended by the things that are said about me on a daily basis? Just because I am trying to be the voice for some of these people who have been missing for so long without a voice. And because their name, their last name, their social standing, their socioeconomic status isn't as good as some of these other people. What? This is she. I said to make your own page and scam somebody out of some money. Yeah, you said you said for us to make our own pages and do like you did, which is you promised somebody files and you never gave what you promised after people gave you money. How do we go about doing that? I really want to know how to do it. Figure it out if you think I've done it. Well, have you not seen the files? I mean, you got, you got Why are y'all so obsessed? Y'all are so obsessed. Y'all really, really, really need some Jesus. And you need a psychiatrist because I haven't scammed anybody. You have to yell? You need Jesus. It's back to the gypsy case. Again. Back to the gypsy case again. And the idiots. Yes, she sounds like she's jacked up on something. These people, I'm telling y'all, they're crazy. Absolutely crazy. She called from a block number. This is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. They're, they're too much of a coward to say who they really are. Too much of a coward. Exactly, Stacy. Exactly. There are so many cases out there where the people have just been forgotten. Absolutely forgotten. And that's exactly what we're trying to do is bring attention to these cases. Bring attention to the cases that have been forgotten. They're calling again. I just turned my phone off. There ain't nothing fancy about that, Gabby. In any way, shape, or form. Carrie, trust me. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. This has been going on for... Mm, March will be a year. Crazy. Yeah, don't bring her name up, though, because then I'll, they'll be saying again. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You have to disguise your voice? How many times do 
we going to call you for this world to see that you're seeing an ass fake ass bitch. Do you do realize that nobody cares what y'all have to say, right? You do realize that you're scamming ass bitch. You do realize that nobody cares what you say? Have y'all not realized that yet? Yeah, I realize that. Uh, I have a fake accent like you because you're used to it, right? My accent is fake? Yeah, I wish all your followers would realize that you're fake as fuck and you'd be scamming people. Do you think that calling me and acting like a drunken fool is going to convince them of that? Do you believe that all that, that money should have went to damn pizza? Do you believe that all that money should have went to damn pizza? I don't even know what you just said. You're you're slurring your words, Suge. Listen, Suge. We didn't donate money for your fat ass to get a pizza hut. Oh, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Where are the files we paid for, you fat ass bitch? <laughs> I ate them. <laughs> of course he did, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, baby Jesus. Whew. Sorry. None of these people realize they're breaking the law. I'm just glad that all of y'all get to witness it because I have 190 people who get to witness the harassment. These people are crazy, crazy. Yes, Suzanne, it's the same one. It's the AIDS Anonymous woman. Mm-hmm. And my accent is fake. Pretty sure that everybody sounds like me who lives here, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, Amber, she said she was trying to have a fake accent like me. If nothing else, this is entertainment. Exactly, Christy. The files that have been uploaded into the group, if any of them had the, the sense to look for them. And I guess they think that this makes them look credible and helps to further their case against me. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not the one that looks like a nut job. Jesus. Sherry, who knows? Thank you, Jennifer. I need it. Cole, yeah, we know that, but these other idiots have no idea. I mean, it's just to the point now that they're crazy and everybody is seeing it. I know, right? <laughs> Samantha. Exactly. Exactly, Jennifer. Exactly. It is crazy. Exactly, Vicky. Exactly. Taking Wendy to Pizza Hut. <sighs> You're exactly right, Chris. You are exactly right. And that is a lot of the problem. Haley, I have no idea who that is, but I'm so sorry. Of 
Crystal, exactly. And that's the problem. That is the problem. They cannot stand that I have more people who support me and follow me than they do. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Ever. Amber. Amen, Emily. Amen. You've seen it firsthand. <laughs> no doubt, Kim. Except I don't drink. There ain't no fake in this accent. And I couldn't get a, I couldn't get rid of it if I tried. Oh my nose is such a <sighs> Lamar. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, and see that's the thing um that kills them all is so many people stayed with me and followed me from the gypsy case and have stuck with me through these other cases and they can't stand it because some of them have tried to do things and had zero success um, with anything that they tried and they can't stand the fact that um, people actually watch me. People actually listen. People actually comment. And when I post something, People actually like it or react to it. And it's really, really sad. I knew what you meant, Cindy. No, I don't drink. I've never drank. I'm not a drinker. Nothing but some sweet tea and the occasional Dr. Pepper or Coke from McDonald's. Oh, Megan, trust me. That mess don't bother me. None of them do. Yes, you have, Christy. They're calling again. Do y'all want to hear it? Hello? Oh, you're going to use your real voice this time? If I if I'd lay off the crack or quit lying, which yeah, is it? I ate them. I ate the files. Remember? Yeah, or did you forget? That, yeah, I ate them. You do realize these calls can be traced, correct? It's okay. And there are three different um, law enforcement officers watching right now, seeing you and listening to you? It's okay, because you're lying ass bitch. Oh, okay. What's your name? Don't you worry. It's Chris okay. Is it Christina? We got plenty on you too, my dear. Apparently not, or you wouldn't still be following me. You follow me to get laughs. Yeah. You must have a very boring life then. It is pretty boring because I'm just stuck having to follow you because you ripped a lot of people off and you're still doing it. And you're using these three girls' deaths as a reason to quit on Shayna's case. What does that have to do with Shayna's case? I'm, I've quit on Shayna's case? You sure did. You, you burn under cover now. You know who does drive? You are really you, you are really psychotic. Kim Bell. Kim Bell and Ray as well. You know, that one dried up for you so you had to move on to Shayna. Now Shayna Rose dried up. Now you gotta move on to some others. 
We haven't. Um, oh, yes. Thank you, Lamar. Refusing to identify yourself is an element needed to meet the standard of harassment. Thank you. Oh, oh, you're welcome. They don't need that to identify nobody. No, they just need your phone call. That's all they need. Yeah, they can have my phone call. They need. The, the a law enforcement will. That's good. They can have it because I've already been called the law on you. Do I look like I care? I haven't yeah, done anything. Because you're showing the eyes focused on me and not on that case, huh? You have no idea what we're doing with the case. <laughs> you're absolutely right because you spend more time bitching about what everybody else is doing. Like you who's calling me to interrupt my live? You're absolutely right just to show everybody how much you truly do care about everybody else. Do you really think that this is helping your cause? You are seriously psychotic. Yeah, you are. I can agree to that. I may be psychotic, but honey, it takes one to know one. Okay. Are you still going? I mean, you're only proving to people how much more you just care less. Just listening to me, Jimmy Jabbers. How much I care less? Yeah, how much you care really about those cases you're all into. Yeah, that's, that's why I spend so much time on them, huh? Mm-hmm. Because you're spending more time talking to me right now, huh? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I agree, honey. I better get off of here. You know, you got some real hard work to put in for you tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you go because one of your other idiots is calling. Hello? Bitch. No. There's two people calling me. You and the other idiot. I wish, I wish one of the 230 people watching you would finally realize that all of the money that they donated to you went to Pizza Hut. All of the money that was donated went to Pizza Hut. Yeah, and like all of everything, Natasha, you're a scammer. Uh huh. What's your name? My name's Ashley. Hmm. Cole, she said her name's Ashley. Yeah, all of the file money that you got for free. I use that. I use that. At, I use that money at Pizza Hut, right? Why do people think? Why do people think that you use so many different tools from PayPal? Because you're a scammer, <laughs> and you want these people to follow you. But nobody really believes you. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, they're all stupid. They do. Oh, all of the people that are watching are stupid. Okay. Yeah, for believing their lies. Oh, yeah, they are. And you don't think you're stupid for following somebody and not saying who you are <laughs> and calling <laughs> from blocked <laughs> numbers and following me for months? You don't think you're stupid? No, not as stupid as you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ashley, who? You know what makes you more stupid? Fucking your sister's baby daddy, you dirty bitch. Yeah, you were there, huh? You know that happened. Everybody knows about it. Even your family told us. Come on now, Natasha. My family? Give me a break. And your family also told us that you made money off of your dead nephew. Oh, I what made money. I made money off of my dead nephew, the one that I paid five hundred dollars towards his funeral expenses, and his mother didn't contribute a penny. That that nephew, oh, yeah. the one who I still have custody of his sister because my sister is too sorry to have them. Yeah, you're so smart. You you believe anything and everybody and know nothing. Nothing. Keep believing them. Keep believing them. I'm doing great things. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing to help somebody? 
What are you doing to help somebody? Nothing. You You're you crazy. Oh, my Jesus. I'm telling y'all. All right. Now it's off. Hang on. Hmm. Sorry. When they start talking about my nephew's mess, mm -mm. I'm done because they don't know anything about that mess. Thank you, Aunt Debbie. Mm. That's my Aunt Debbie, by the way. You know, my family. Oh, my God. It's the same tired mess. Same tired mess that they have been coming up with for nine months. Mm. Yes, I'm such a horrible person that I still have custody of my niece, you know. You can't be a foster parent if you're a felon, which I'm not. Oh my God, these people are idiots. This is what I mean, and this is what I deal with daily. Daily. From psycho people. And now, I'm giving up on Shana's case, according to them. I'm not giving up on nothing. I'm not giving up on Kim's case. I'm not giving up on Shana's case. I'm not giving up on anything. And there's another one that just popped up on here that's watching who sure has a whole lot to say. And let me just say this. For every one of you, every one of you, who are on here right now watching, who think that I have said some things that are so horrible about your wonderful city of Geneva, maybe you should thank your fellow citizens for making Geneva look like such a bad place. It ain't me. It's the people that live there. Not all of them, but a lot of them. There are some absolutely great people, and there are some great people watching right now, and I have made some wonderful friends but there are some absolute, sanctimonious, holier-than-thou folks in Geneva, just like there are in every other town, who think that they know everything, who think that they are better than everybody else, and who think that they have the right to judge people about things that they know nothing about. Just like these two psychos who just called. And that's what I said. What am I doing that's so bad? What am I doing that's so, so bad? Trying to find people who are missing, whose voices were taken, trying to give them a voice, trying to bring attention and awareness to the fact that they're missing and that they haven't been found in years and that people have basically forgotten about them. So people in the towns that they're from get hurt, butt hurt, because I'm bringing attention to things and focusing on the cases and bringing up the names of the people who were the original persons of interest. So that has your butt chapped. Well, get over it because I'm not going to stop. Exactly, Emily. Exactly. And none of these people know that. None of these people know that I've always helped people. Always. My whole life, I've always helped people. Anybody and everybody that needed it, I have helped. And I always will. And I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not going to let these people stop me from what I'm doing. Absolutely not. I've not done anything wrong. Don't intend to do anything wrong. All I intend to do is do my absolute best to find these people who are missing 
and help anybody that I can in the process. And if that offends people, get over it. Because I'm going to tell you something. If I was not as strong as I am, I would have quit a long time ago. Because the harassment is relentless. It is all day, every day, by these same idiots. My mods know. My research team knows. It is relentless. They are crazy. And weak-minded people who live in these towns and believe the things that these idiots say, more power to you. Judge me all you want. But I can assure you, can assure you, you are no better than what you judge me on. Emily, how do I do it? I do it because I know the truth. And I know exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Other people's opinions about me don't matter. And you see this stuff right now about this couch stuff? This is how absolutely petty people are. They go and they post the link to this to this live in these groups to have these people come in here and disrupt. But I'm the bad person. I'm the person that needs to be stopped. Right? Okay. Hmm. Yeah. That's exactly right. I don't care who likes me. Never have. I'm just thankful that 200 plus people are getting to see what I have to deal with. Just a little bitty portion of what I have to deal with. Because of this mess. Hey, Kimberly. No, my mods are on top of it. Y'all just ignore them. My mods are on it. And Tina, that right there is the problem. Because I have people who support me. And because I have people who watch and listen. And because people have minds of their own and sense. And actually watch and make up their own minds about me. Instead of listening to all the negativity that's spewed everywhere else. People who actually have brains and use them. People whose minds are intelligent and know how to get to know someone or pay attention and watch someone and know what they're all about rather than listening to other people and their opinions of them. Because all of these people, just like that stuff that that woman was just spewing, every bit of that is the biggest load of bull crap I've ever heard. And these people blindly believe it. Because somebody told them, how credible is that somebody? What's that, what's that somebody's past, past like? Exactly. And as far as working on these cases, and staying private and not telling everything. Well, duh, we'd sort of be kind of stupid if we did. There's lots of things 
that I don't say or do lots of things because the thing about it is nobody needs to know it nobody until we're ready for people to know it and if y'all don't think that I release certain things at certain times or say certain things at certain times on purpose y'all ain't been watching me very long Emily, come to Geneva. I'll give you one. <sighs> exactly, Suzanne. You and I didn't even see eye to eye to begin with. And now look at us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dolores, I'm baiting somebody. Uh -huh. Anytime, Barbie, come on over. I got some new pins today. Exactly, Kimberly, exactly. Kathy, message me. I'll send you one. Yeah, if y'all want one of those Team Natasha bracelets, just come to um, Pizza Hut whenever I'm there. I always have them with me. Yes, Jamie, I got some new pins. Dalton brought me my Christmas presents back from his mama. I got a new book and some new pins. Y'all know I'm all about some color, and this stuff's in my lap right now. And I almost have our website done. No, I don't. Nowhere near. <laughs> but I have been working on it off and on um, the last couple days while I've been sick. So, um, I know, right, Sherry? Um, but we do have the website. The website is live. And it is... Um, True Crime with Natasha Cooper dot com. I know, Emily. So does the one in Niceville. Lavender oil, Jamie. Lavender. Well, Kendra, just wait. Just tell me when, and I will meet you there. Um, I'm still working on the website. Uh, there already is, Lamar. Already is an anonymous tip portal. I already have that set up. The case information I'm still working on. Kimberly's, I've got a lot to write up because I'm trying to write up the synopsis. Um... Yeah, it was, Renee. It was. Until all of those idiots happened. But yeah, the website's up. I have most of the mods on there with their pictures and their bios. And I have a couple of the research team. They're still working on getting me their stuff. Um, I have Shana's case information on there. And I have Jacob Lyons information on there. And I'm working on Kim's and Calandra's. It'll be on there soon. No, Sherry, it's an actual website. It's true crime with Natasha Cooper dot com. Yeah, hang on, I'll post the link. Kimberly Lynn, but people don't care. That's the thing. Most people do not care. And I do spread myself thin. I spread myself entirely too thin. And now my two children have just come in. Where's Mariah? I've missed one. Look at, look at my face. Oh, it's cold.
Why are your pants falling down? Tell me what's in this bag. Here. Um, she just posted the website. She just posted the website. It's www.truecrimewithnatashacooper.com. There you go. Amber just posted it to the bottom. Amber, if you do the www in front of it, it should make it clickable. And there's also a mailing list on there that you can sign up for that um, we'll be doing updates, like if we have um, case information or if we're going to take on a new case or anything like that, we'll be sending out updates to everybody about it and through the mailing list. So you can sign up for that too. She's changing it, Jamie. What'd you get? What'd you get? Awesome to wear. Thank you, Amber. Where at? Nothing. I know, right, Kim? It's entertainment, that's for sure. Oh, I love you, Kimberly. You're right. And you know me way too well. Y'all are cracking me up with the pinning. What else did you get? Sorry. Hannah's here and they're opening up their stuff. Oh, that's neat. Y'all are killing me with this link. <laughs> killing me. Yeah, they just opened up their presents from Dalton's mama. Or Hannah did. Um, and Dylan, hold on. I got to show y'all this. Hold on is on the skateboard in boots. Turn the, turn the light on, Mariah. Dylan is on the skateboard. No, they did not get Dalton his own skateboard. Dylan, Dylan. You thought your boots would be better for balance? Maybe they weigh 10 tons. You gonna do it, Mariah? No, I ain't getting on there. Why? Because there's people on there. Yeah, 176. Come on, one more. Uh, yeah, I know. Jamie said skate park cowboy. And Kimberly said, Dylan, don't pull a Dalton. Uh, you gonna do okay, he's back with his boots on. They said a true redneck. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my lord, Amber, Suzanne, exactly. A lot of people didn't didn't realize. I know, right, Mickey? Oh, thank you, Sarah. It really has been constant harassment. Do it, Mariah. I can't do it Put it under both toes. This is fixing to be bad, y'all. Oh, he almost did it. Maybe she did it. Maybe she more often. <laughs> Kaylee, Kaylee was making... Please don't fall into the tree. Kaylee was making fun of him earlier because he had his boots with his pants like that. Sheila said, do a 360. That's what I just said, Jamie. Oh, Dylan, please be careful. Show him how to do it. 
Oh, I know what you're talking about. There is this move that I looked up for Mariah, and it's called a sex change. Okay. That's, really That's what the move is called. Don't jump up. Never mind, that's there. Amber, hush your mouth. Don't jump. Um, I need to go before I something. No, Hannah, come back. Nothing. Dalton, are you coming in here? Mariah, do the do the um change around thing so they can see the, the sex change thing. I don't know why this is called this, but no, his name is not Tony Hawk. Thank you, Miss Diane. <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> Come on, do it, Mariah. That is not even funny, Amber. She did it, but she fell off. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Do it again. I know, Kimberly, but see, that's the thing. People don't see that because they don't know me. Yes, it is a maple leaf. It is. Mickey's Canadian. I understand that. I don't know why it's called a sex change, y'all. But that's what the trick was called on YouTube. We looked up simple skateboard tricks for beginners. And, oh, oh. Oh, it's about to be bad. And um, that was one of them. It was called a sex change. Dylan, what are you doing? Good, Dylan. They said, good job, Mariah. Try 180. I ain't Sid. Mariah, come do one. What? Do a spin. I can't do You can do a 160. I don't think I um, Amber, I not here it isn't. Mariah can't, hasn't gotten the hang... I won't let her get out there yet because she doesn't know how to do it. It's easier to learn on the carpet. <laughs> yeah, I know, Kathy. He probably will. Now he's taking his shoes off. Yeah. They all keep saying you're going in the tree. See, Mariah's getting pretty good at the turns. Sailor's gotten really good. I guess I'm gonna have to buy Dylan a skateboard. I tell you what, this is some good exercise. Exactly, Amber, exactly. I would have been better if Dalton had been doing this on the carpet. Oh, this is not. Dylan, I think you need shoes. Yeah, Dylan, you need to look at your shoes. Honey, sugar, baby, nah. -uh. Go get those Dylan, you are. Mm. It's easy with I mean, I'm, I'm You're doing a great job. Don't it hurt your feet, though? I know this is not what y'all thought y'all were going to get to see tonight, but... Did you say what you had to say? Mm-hmm. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. You're going to sleep? I'm tired. You look weird. You look like you have a hearing aid. Look, y'all. Hannah has her AirPods in. It looks like a hearing aid. Mm, <coughs> love you. Um. Kimberly said you were trying to be the new tree topper, Dylan. They are, Jax, big time. Um, Suzanne, I told Mariah, my head bobbles enough. Ain't no way. Oh! Jamie said she likes your glasses. Mm-hmm. Trenda said, hey, Hannah. Hello. Sherry said she has hers in, too. <laughs> I only have one Sherry's the one that sent you the playlist. I figured. I can't find it anymore. It's way too much, Jax. I told y'all 
she went into me and she left me on the bed. Dalton has went in there and fell asleep because he's about killed himself. Is he asleep? And um, when he fell the other day, he liked to have killed himself. And he played basketball today with his brother and his nephews, so he can barely move. Jamie said, Hannah doesn't know who I am because I'm always commenting as you. And now she's dancing over here. Sherry said she's sending you her playlist again. She did thumbs up. And here's Dylan and Mariah. And in the corner is my twin. Well, I'm the milk man's. Uh. I was going Jax to is going to check your trucks when he gets here next week. I was, listen, Linda. The, 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 the wheels. Yes, I do. The truck's on her skateboard. Hey, Jax, going. Kaylee said she doesn't have a truck. We were going. No, I was going to leave today, and Layla was behind the counter, and she goes, give me the password. <laughs> Do it again. No. Come on, do it. <laughs> Dylan, why do you look? Are you wore out, Dylan? I don't know. Kaylee over here, the, the research team and the mods the other night got to see Kaylee acting like me and doing my facial expressions. Um, she does them just like me and doesn't realize she's doing it. She got in trouble at work. She got in trouble at work for making facial expressions to customers. Yeah. To customers or to people you work with? She okay. got in trouble at work because she was making facial expressions to somebody that she works with. Please tell me how much sense this is. Turn that off. What? There was a lady. She came in the store today. She told you were pretty? No. I was checking her out. She comes up with three bags for returns, you know, right? You think... Oh, no, Carrie. How long do you think that she's had this stuff, you know? She comes up with three bags of stuff. She got it for Christmas. Okay, that's what you think? Mm -hmm. How long do a you year? think she's had it? How long do you think she's had it? Oh, since New Year of last year. She's had it since the summer of 2016 with no okay, receipt, and all the tags are off of the bags, and she wants a full refund. Oh, I didn't reset it. I, I said, ma'am, I cannot give you a full refund. I can't even give you a refund in general. You don't have tags, so I can put it back in the system. You don't have a receipt showing me that you bought it. When I pull it up in the system, it's from 2016. It doesn't even show you're a customer anymore. Thank y'all for so saying my girls mad, are, are beautiful. She gets mad, and she's like, well, I need to speak to a manager. Thank you. She goes, I need to speak to a manager. So, you know, I have to go find a manager. Jerry's the closest one, so I go get her. And I tell her I'm explaining it to her as we go back to the register. She said, we're not giving this lady a full refund on things she doesn't have tags for or a receipt. So we get up there, and the lady starts yelling at Jerry. And I'm like... Hannah's telling, did y'all hear what Hannah's talking about? How much was, how much, she had three bags of stuff? Yeah, it was like $700 worth of stuff she was trying to return or get a refund for. And they wouldn't let her? No, from the summer of 2016. From the summer of 2016, she was trying to return three With bags. No receipts. Full and, of stuff. And no, um, tags. They said you sound like me. No, I don't. She said she don't. You missed, I had two phone calls earlier. One was that same one that was sounding drunk the other night. And that said my accent was fake. No, it wasn't Jerry that came and helped me. I don't remember who came and What does Boomer me. mean? It's a generation. Oh, Sherry, yeah. Somebody was saying that the other night, was calling us that. That's not what you are. I'm not a Boomer, am I? You're a millennial. You know, I am too. Am I a baby Boomer? Stuck between Generation Z and a millennial. I need you to do me a favor. I really need you to do me a favor. Now I know what Boom Howard. I need you to make that where it turns everything off of it at midnight. I don't know how. I need you to make that where it turns everything off of it at midnight. I don't know how. And I need you to set parental locks on it too. Because I don't know if you got it. Excuse me. Jack said, tell her this ain't Walmart. Am I? I'm not. I don't think I'm a. I don't think I'm a. Um, baby boomer. Suzanne, yeah, I know. When we would do angel tree stuff. Um. At my store, I, I did an angel tree every year at my store. And um, we would always um, mark through the barcodes and everything on the gifts before we gave them to people just because of that. I was born in 75. I'm 44. 8.30 p.m. to 
<laughs> Paula, you sound like me. Yeah, it's supposed to rain here all day tomorrow. Generation X. So what are my kids? I just told you I'm in the middle of a millennial and a generation Z. Is there a Z? Yeah, that's the new generation. Is there a way you can send it to my phone? There's now a generation Z? <laughs> We're generation X. Amber, what in the heck is that? Millenniala? Is that something too? Probably a millennial. Well, yeah, Sherry, you're in Georgia. 1944 to 64 are boomers. Me either, Paula. Hey, Sandra. See, we have actually learned something tonight. What, what's wrong? Yeah. Is it Generation Z or Z? So I'm a Generation X. There's an X and there's a Z. The new generation is a Z. 2000 to... Okay. Lamar just posted it. I'm not a Z. I don't call you Yes, you are, Hannah. No, I'm 2000. Not. It's a new silent generation or Generation Z. I am not and the water generation. I don't have any photography of that and it They come up with some crazy mess. Mariah is getting her phone back. God help us all. Kimberly. I'm Generation X, Amber. I'm Generation X. Oh, Jamie, hush it. You're a baby. So Dalton's a baby boomer. Because you're a baby boomer. Sherry, because you're a baby boomer. If you looked at... Amber, mm -hmm. you were talking to Jamie, Natasha, not real Natasha. Yeah, Kimberly, I think that's that's what it is, too. If somebody's older than you, they just call them boomer as a sign of, it's almost like a sign of disrespect in some ways because it's saying that somebody's older than you. Trying to say that somebody's old, which I know I'm old, but. One of the mods said the other day that you're only as old as you feel. I said, well, then I'm 100. Sherry. Oh, Kimberly, I wish one of mine would. All right, y'all. Well, I am getting off here for tonight. Um, thank y'all for another very eventful evening. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. And y'all all have a good night. Now that we all know what generation we are, y'all have a good night.